Hey YouTube, Dusty here, and I'm excited to announce I have officially launched my Patreon page. If you like what I do, you can sign up for tiers like Saiyan, Super Saiyan, and Super Saiyan Rose to unlock exclusive daily content. You can also unlock unique callers from my new Discord channel. Regardless if you become a Patreon or not, make sure you stop by and say hello. Hello everyone, Dusty here. I'm excited to announce that Kitchen Table Meta is collaborating with Popo's Kitchen, a new site specializing in Dragon Ball Super singles. They have everything from Set 1 tournament promos to Union Force and even Dash Pack promos. And if that wasn't enough, you can even trade in your old cards for credit. Do you have a playset of Sensu Beans you're not using? Turn them into credit and buy that shiny Jiren. Don't forget to tell them Dusty sent you by using the code Kitchen Table Meta at the checkout to save 10% on your entire order. Alright guys, so we're back. For top four here at the first ever talk about super regional at hartford connecticut we have two uh, awesome players uh going in here and one of them is the uh, fan favorite so uh, i'll tell you what i'm gonna let chris introduce them all right so we have alejandro uh playing on top of the sand mat he's going to be playing the blue green cell that we've seen yes we've every seen round just, going just in because dominate he's dominating so the top eight uh, top 16 excuse me and then we have jorge playing tricolor ginyu and i actually talked to alejandro just recently and he he, he was telling me how they, he wanted to play Vegeta, but he, but he couldn't because he was afraid of this deck, the blue green. Not 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 the, not the tricolor Ginyu, the blue green, the, the, the cell, the I cell, mean, the, the, the cell. Excuse me. He was afraid of the cell, so so we, he played the cell, and he was so surprised that nobody here was playing it. So their team took it and took it, uh, built it, brought it here, and he thought everybody would be playing it, and no one was. And he, they were so surprised, and look how well they've done with yeah, it. Yeah, I know that's awesome. And then he was talking about the tricolor Ginyu matchup, and he says, you know, if I lose, I lose. It's one of those matches where they have a bunch of. Uh, Cold Cold Lust. Lust. It's just, it's just, there's. I mean, now Tricolor Ginyu was my choice of winning the events. We talked a little bit about it yesterday. I said, you know what? I think Tricolor Ginyu has the best matchup going in. I mean, they, they have something to do with everything. It's one yeah. of those decks I talk about a lot, but it has the ability to run almost any any cards. You know, it has right. those three callers, yeah. uh, and it has the ability to essentially play the best caller, the best cards, and those callers. And so, you know, it happens in every card game. Someone finds a way to shove all the best cards in the deck, and that's Ginyu. And it's, uh, it's I feel like it's actually really good against this uh, this cell deck. It has Cold Ball Lust for the evolutions. Uh, it also has you know a lot of ways to actually remove them it has a lot of removal yeah uh, and it has an easy way to awaken you know so it can it can essentially make uh, cell not awaken it can awaken itself uh, and it can just take over for card advantage yep so, all right, so they're doing mulligans right now guys I'll actually i'll actually move it over to this uh thing so you guys can get uh, see their mulligans a little bit and then we get ready to jump into the first game i'm super excited this is top yeah, four man we got four, two more matches guys yeah. and it's uh that's it that's in the books for the first ever dragon ball super regional super excited yeah so it ran really smooth. It's been really good. Also, guys, remember, you can put at Kitchen Table Meta in the chat. And if you do that, we'll ask, or we'll answer as many questions as we can at the end of the uh, this match. I guess it's a match or game? Big game. This is big. So at the end of the game. Yeah. Okay. So match uh, is like one, right? So there's like three three matches into one game. Yeah. I think Alejandro will, might have to move his uh, leader and life over once it comes in. Cause I can't see his leader on like the big one. Oh, so. Okay. Yeah. I'll, yeah, you're right. You might have to ask the judge to do that for him, but we want to make sure you guys see uh, as like, much information as, as you much can. information as you can to make sure we get it because it's very important. And I, and I actually feel like this could be a nail biter game too. Oh, this is gonna be a super exciting game. Like I said, Ginyu is, is, in my opinion, uh, Ginyu is the. Uh, uh, hang on, let me make sure. Let's go into the gameplay here. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have our judges move the life a little bit, and we'll start. All right. Like I said, this is uh, this deck is the is the most positioned, um, in my opinion, uh, against Salem. It's this deck. I mean, if any deck can take it down, it's Ginyu. Yeah. I mean, we had our, our teammate Jordan Markle not lose a game yesterday. Yeah. You know, he won uh, he won five games and had three draws. So I mean, there we go. Good to go. All right, good to go. Dude, I'm super excited about this game match. I can't wait. I mean, it's because it has a story behind it too, and, and right. honestly, because Alejandro is playing to meet his friend in the finals. Yeah. To see if the Florida <laughs> team the, the pro play can meet. And then Jorge's our champion, right? He's trying to shut down these, these, yeah. these uh, pro play games guys. And actually, I'll tell you what. Uh, Stealth Birth is a great uh, card against uh, Ginyu because it allows them to get that, um, that uh, cell combo a turn earlier, yep. which is very important because that gives them uh, – it only gives Tricolor Ginyu one draw step to get Cobalas. Now, we do see that George – I'm sorry, Jorge has uh, Cobalas in his hand. Uh, so, uh, you know, he's going to be able to shut down this combo, but it's very important. And I think uh, Alejandro just has to go for it, in my opinion. If he has it, he needs to go for it, get as many of those cold balls out of, his, out of uh, uh, Jorge's hand as he can uh, yeah. before, you know. And the, and the one thing about it, too, is like, um, it's not like Ginyu can't kill the Cell. 
once it comes down, they have a million and two different ways to take down that cell. So, like, like from hearing from what you're saying here, it does seem like Ginyu may have the advantage as long as they have cold blood lust. Cold blood lust. Mm -hmm. If they do not have cold blood lust or they run out of cold blow, goodness. Oh, he's going for it. He has to. Now, what's interesting here, will, will Jorge uh, cold blood lust the first stage or will he let him go up to seven and then do it? Yeah. Uh, in my opinion, he should let him go all the way up. It just yeah. makes it. Uh, and he has no threat to kill on board. You know, uh, how Guinea wins these games is he'll play a threat out and protect it with cold blood lust. Yeah. Play a threat out protect with cold blood lust. And then before you know it, they have five threats out and they kill you with it. So uh, there's really no reason for him to, to do it here. So I'm excited to see what happens. Cell so swinging into Guinea. He's going to take that. Yeah, you, you want to get him down as soon as possible, and then he's going to go ahead and go all, all the way up. Is Was it a bluff? It was not. Cold blood no, lust comes immediately out. comes out, stopping it from happening. You know, because a lot of Ginyu players will play the yellow just to bluff it. Mm -hmm. If they have no turn one play, or even if they do have turn one play, they're like, I need this because of exactly what just happened. Right. I need to at least show it to make them scared. And this time he had the... Uh, well, that shows you what, the, what, what good... I mean, you're right. I mean, it, 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 it's a very masterful play to be like... I'm gonna leave a yellow open. You know, see if you go for it. You gotta bluff it. He was not bluffing that time. And but not, the thing is, how does he deal with this? I'm really surprised. I guess you know, uh, Alejandro just doesn't want to awaken him. You know, he knows that if he doesn't attack this time, then uh, Jorge has to go one more turn before he can awaken. So, uh, but it seems like you know he has a seven drop out. It's not going to survive for long because essentially, as soon as uh, Jorge you gets see that, that weiss, that weiss blocker, yeah, the, the, weiss blocker, the energy. Yep. As soon as Jorge gets the four energy, this cell is dead. So yeah. if I was uh, Alejandro, I want to take as much. I want to get as much value out of this card as I could before. Actually, he doesn't have double strike anymore. I'm stupid because it equal ball lost. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. am I talking about? Yeah, yeah. So he absolutely should have attacked him. He didn't attack that turn either. Also, the Guinea player didn't take a life. Well, he's. It's, I think it's still the. I think it's still the Guinea player's turn. Maybe. No, because he yeah, plays a blue. Because he, he played blue and just drew the uh, Super Saiyan Gotenks with it. Right, right, but the. Uh, the Alejandro just took another turn after the, it was called Blood Lost. Oh, he literally just played, played an energy and passed. Yeah, so maybe he just doesn't want to, like, attack and have it killed right now. I don't know, but that's the thing about um, Ginyu is I always thought they went to four and flipped. Like, they tried to get to yeah, four and then flipped. Yeah, as fast as you can. And yeah. he didn't. Uh, he's not, see, he's not taking we life. We see Jorge with a insane hand. He has two. He has another cold blood lesson hand, which, I see is, that. which is fantastic. And he has two Super Saiyan Gotenks. So now, you know, coming up here in one more turn. Goodness. Yeah, he can play out a threat, have cold blood, cold blood lust back up, and then do it again the next turn, which is uh, wow. disgusting. And uh, he, he, uh, player. Jorge played the the new two drop Goku lets you draw a card, which yeah. is just so much value. Oh yeah, so much value. Here and comes, here comes the, end. the end, which now, is Jorge could, could decide what? say, you know what? Maybe I want to cold blood lust this guy. Man, I don't want you. Uh, but he's he, did, he did not. Which is fine. I think that's yeah, the right play. I think it's a little Ooh. aggressive. I like to see that Tien hit the bin out, out of my life. <laughs> Alejandro back down to four, awakens, and now starts to sell fun. I think this is a cool matchup. I think... Because now the cell engine's on, it's just like... Exactly. No, exactly. Cell's going. He can start going. filtering and... All kinds of good stuff. Let's see what Hawaii decides to do here. He has, a, he has a very stacked hand. He has sensu beans. He has plenty of threats. He has Cold Blood Lust. I don't know, I'm trying to build the board up a little bit, though, which can be scary as a Ginyu back. Ginyu is very good at removing one threat, not very good at moving two a turn. So. Mm -hmm. Let's see what he decides to do here. Looks like he is... He, 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 he did draw um, the Vegeta. That, well... It hit the bend. It I'm hit the energy. I'm actually surprised he played that, but I, he can't tap out to play it. You, you, you have yeah, to have yeah, you access have to have cold blood. That makes, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. I think he's gonna play out this boo in his hand here. Cycle his deck a little bit. See what he draws. I'll pick up a counter. Actually, very good draw again. Doesn't have a blue to play it, unfortunately, but it's gonna be good for the next turns. So getting you swinging because he's already awakened. There's no reason not to. Right. So he's actually combo with the boo to, put, to take this unawakened getting you up to fifteen thousand. And then defended by Alejandro with just a uh, 17. I'm really surprised that, that uh, Jorge isn't using Ginyu's ability to awaken here. This is really—it's it's very, it's, 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 yeah, he's trying to preserve his life total. I think, I think he's also, you know, trying to preserve his life total. I think he's also trying to, you know, set himself up like we talked about earlier to get more card advantage um, if he happens to get a sell off. Right. Yeah. It's true. Although there, there are uh, two perfect cells in the energy. Yeah. Two and perfect one cells the field. and one in the field, so it's uh, unlikely they run four in the deck. But I can't check for it. He, how many does he run? I'm 
It's a perfect force cell. He actually runs four in the deck. So he, he could have another one he, in there. He has one more in the deck. And he swings it with cell. Ginyu takes two. Down to three. Oh. And he plays the android that stops him from taking... Uh, from awakening. From awakening. So that's pretty cool, like you were talking about. Oh, he's thinking about... What is he thinking about doing here? Crusher balling it? So we can attack it? Yeah, he could crush your ball that way he can attack. Yeah. yeah. Good play. And uh, Tien's coming in. He does have a Gohan in hand, though, so he can actually play out Gohan here. Uh, remove the cell. Yeah. And then pressure the uh, the cell with Gohan yeah. in order to be able to awaken and draw more cards. So He has a plan for going in the next turn. We'll see what he decides to do. I, it, it's very interesting to me that... Um, so, before the android got tapped, he, he thought it was card. good. He attacked with Tien onto the leader. Right. And then after he figured out it got tapped, he did not attack. Right. So maybe he's just trying to use it to combo to protect the, uh, the android. Right. Yeah. Gohan hits the energy. I was worried here, you, you have a couple decisions to make. Do you want to use this Gohan in your hand that you have to eliminate this cell, get a threat off the board? Or do you want to use it to get rid of this uh, android so you can awaken? Yeah. That's, that's a, two decisions <laughs> you have. Yeah. So he He also no, he played the Vegeta down, so he only has the Gohan to kill. Is that his only like yeah, kill yeah, yeah. battle he has, card? He had two Gohan in hand, he played one to Gohan down his energy, uh, which is a little surprising to me. I mean to me that Gohan's one of your best cards. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, he's thinking. He's thinking. It's a hard choice it's between a hard the two. Choice. It's a hard choice. Because I mean, you don't know what... The, the greedy play is to kill Cell. I think that the safe play is to kill the Android. But we'll see what Hori decides to do here. Top four of the first ever regional. Thank yeah. you for the safe play here. He's hovering his hand over. Uh, he's going yeah. for it. That's good. Now he can awaken. Draw some more cards. Draw three cards off of this awaken. So. Yeah, he's going to attack. And, and Ginyu enough. lives or dies by... Uh, oh, actually... Uh, an interesting play by Jorge. He actually tapped one of his yellow to play that. So he's not going to have Cold Bola stuff. But he does have Sensumi. So he can untap yeah, he's probably Yeah, he's probably going to attack. He's actually going to go try to kill Cell using all the cards in his yeah. hand. Sensumi. And... What? Is he attacking the leader? Is he doesn't look like he's comboing anymore. Yeah, I can't see, I, yeah, I can't see what, which one he tapped into, but he's up to 20,000, which is nowhere near enough to kill this yeah, cell. Yeah, not, so. not killing cell there. But he does have counters in hand. I mean, he has, he's not going to die to this cell. Yeah, turn, so yeah he, he, he was attacking the leader. So, was it down to two life? Yeah, huh? Knocked him down to two. So, two to three. Get you in the lead right now. We've got a crit Gohan coming into Alejandro. <coughs> Excuse me. Any, as any player, you hate seeing critical coming in. It's like, oh, it, it's like it's the, most, the worst. <laughs> it's the worst thing ever. You know you're gonna have to. Super one players. That is final round. If you are still in a match, please proceed to end of match procedures. If you need assistance, and he, uh, he counters it. Which is what I would do too. Oh, yeah. His cell is gonna be able to kill that Gohan. You won't have to worry about that crit for a little bit. And also now he just swings with the cell. What is the, the response you said was a counter? And, yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was a counter in hand. Oh, yeah. Does Jorge have a counter in hand? Yeah, yeah. Okay, has, so I think he, he has two in hand, actually. Okay. No. Okay. I think he actually drew, drew another Gohan, maybe? I can't I can't quite see his hand, but I, I just feel like Jorge should have played this Gohan down. Honestly, almost any other card is better than that. Uh, actually, it looks like, did he just play out straight out? Play five drop, sell out? He strike? did. Yeah. Looks like uh, Alejandro is just going to go in here. Going for his he's gonna fourth sell. He's going to be met with a sad... Cobalas. Yep. Which is really important here. Not only does it stop him from discarding his hand, it also takes away that double strike, which yeah. is very important. I the following Dragon Ball Super one it's, a, it's important to note the that uh, that's the last 7-drop cell in Alejandro's deck. Yeah, no more, so no more 7-drop accelerations. Amber Sheridan. That's right, yeah, because you see two in his energy, two on the field. Two energy, two in the field. Amber Sheridan and Thomas Sharp. I think he drew both of the two 10 right there. Stage. So he's got three life to get through. Um, With a double striker and two single strikers two, plus a little bit. He's got, yeah, plus the end over there could get in there if he wanted him to. I don't see Chompa in hand or anything like that. He has Jocko. He has some, some good uh, offensive and defensive. He has, it looks like, three trunks in hand. Yeah. But George has a, like I always say, he has a small novel in hand. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to take that three and get a two. 
and here comes the double striking one. Yeah, I feel like this is a little bit of a bad management by, by uh, Jorge. I actually would have liked to uh, have stopped the one and take the two. That way I have more cards in hand to defend. Um, okay. And I feel like if, if, if Jorge uh, defends this turn, he's probably going to win. This looks like this is going to be Alejandro's all in. Uh, but we'll see what's happening. Here's the kill. That's a combo. <laughs> I don't know. He's got a lot of... Uh... 10k zero cost and all Reese. Hand. Dual Reese. It's actually not too bad of a draw for him. Gives him a second blue, which turns on Beerus if he happens to run it in the deck. Yeah. Also just a good card to uh to put in energy anyway. Right, so he has one yellow, three green, two blue. Yeah. And now, his all, energy? All, yeah. Yep. He has uh he has looks like one yellow. He is he green. is. <laughs> uh okay. He says I'm winning this turn or else. Yep. He actually used, used the ability to go into double strike. So yeah, he's got to go double this strike. This is important because he has so many cards in hand. He feels like with the Gotenks, I feel like he has a hand. He right. this game. Yeah. So he's calling with the uh, the Vegeta here. So it's uh, 10K. And so 15, 20, 30. He's at 30,000. Thirty-five. Give another Sensu Ban. Wow. 30, 35, 40, 45. Is it 45, 50? Yeah, I, I can't tell if that, that other card turns sideways is actually his energy. Did he use that turn? Or oh, it's, yeah, I think yeah, it's his yeah, energy, yeah, 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 yeah. He's on Jocko to, it looks like, return the Vegeta the, hand, yeah, yeah. which is good, but that's also another Vegeta, so it's another removal spot in his hand, so he's not too worried about that. So he's at 15, 20, 25, 35. Count this up. 45. He's getting all these trunks out of his hand, and unfortunately Alejandro drew a TN. Yes, that was another trunks, though. Yeah, I'm trying to, like, decide it. I don't think he can live through this Gotenks attack. It's going to be rough, but he does have a lot of options. Another Jocko, which is important. The Jocko is going to be big there. Yeah, Plus, a, oh, no, he has to use this. Yeah, he has to use one more card. He does? Wow. Yeah, he's going to use Three it. Three 10Ks. Gone. That's big for, that's big for Jorge. If, I, if I'm Jorge, I'm like, oh, he's vulnerable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he just used three trunks. Not Here, very many here cards comes he Gotenks. Yeah. Etienne is just looking so miserable right now in his hand. Oh, you drew a zero cost 5,000 combo card. Uh, yeah, the uh, yeah, Bulma. Which is a big deal. Holy oh counter. my! I didn't see the counter. I did that. not know that was there. Okay. That is huge. That That's is huge. That is like Pog Champ. <laughs> Passing turn. It's a good sign he, to go to get. He knows he can't survive. Yeah, he knows he can't survive. Wow. wow. He, did he have the counter the whole time or did he draw it? I, I, yeah, I couldn't see it. It's hard to yeah. see, but like, that. I think he might have dropped it off the that, trunks. That literally made me drop out of my seat. I was so surprised. <laughs> I was like, he has no way out of this. And it's like, uh, excuse me, Chris, I do have a way out of it. Have you heard of the blue counters? Have, have you heard of a, have you heard of counters before? It's like, wow, I didn't see that in there, guys. Like, that is, that was exciting. Wow. All right, Alejandro in Florida. That's, that's, a, that's a little rough for Ray. Do you just not attack? I mean, do you, do you play around the counter? Do you, do you leave all your energy open? And do you have enough cards in well, hand to survive? when he... Maybe, but when he took the life, he decided when he took the life of Ginyu, was, he was the winning right, that turn. Going, yeah, he was sure. living oh, by the sword, dying by the sword. Maybe, maybe you don't. Maybe you just put pressure on and, and try to make it through the next turn. I don't know. Um, that maybe, game, maybe he should have comboed more. Come maybe he should have went more all in on the attack that didn't get countered. On the Ginyu? Yeah. Maybe. Like if, he, if he uses his Ginyu's his combo pieces there, you think he can get high enough to stop? Maybe not. Uh, that oh, he kills him, I think. Yeah. So maybe, he kills him, actually. Yeah, because he has, like, several... He had other Gotenks and things in hand. Like, he just taps all his mana and just combos all into that kill. Actually, that yeah, I think that's the play. There's no... I don't think there's any way that the, the opponent can get there. I mean, the, the opponent used three trunks. Right. And still barely got there on the on the attack. So, yeah, that's probably... You're actually absolutely right on that. Because that, that kills, right? That was a two... two yeah, yeah, two life, two, and it was a double strike. It was a kill, kill swipe, yeah. That's actually very true. I think he was just trying to play the safe uh, safe play there, but I think he you know, may have forgot to play around the gate a little bit there, which happens. I mean, it's top four. Nerves happen, you know. 
I mean, I didn't, I didn't see the negate coming, mostly because I could see his hand. I'm going to look at the sideboards here a little bit, guys. Let's do a little bit of uh, sideboard talk here. So. Okay. Okay. Uh, it looks like in the, uh, okay. in the uh, Alejandro sideboard, we have two determined Super Saiyan Sun Goku. Or, yeah, Sun Goku. We have uh, two Hidden Awakened Kel. So there's my girl Kel in the sideboard. Yeah. Uh, we have two... Uh, Iron Hammer of Justice Android 16. That's the uh, the blocker that has revenge, that readies. Uh, very, very powerful. You have two uh, Sun Goten Family of Justice. That's the uh, one cost 5,000 combo car that kills the three or less. Uh, one Cell's Birth, one Ultimate Judgment Chaco, and uh, three uh, Group Lee Repilif, which I like. I love that car. I don't think it's that good in this matchup, uh, but you can use it to turn off some of uh, Ginyu's double striking threats, uh, which I mean, would have stayed them to there, you know, at that game. But uh, it doesn't work on Ginyu himself, so I think it's a somewhat of a weak card in this matchup. And then finally, he has two further destruction Champa in his sideboard. Cool. Yeah. Uh, and then going into uh, Jorge's, he has two Ultimate Judgment Chaco, two Full Power Energy, it's three Ready to Strike Piccolo. That's the one that discards cards out of your hand. Yeah. Very good. Actually, not too bad in this matchup. Right. Two Hidden Awakened Kale, uh, two. Iron Hammer of Justice Android 16, so that's the uh, block we talked about. Uh, two, this looks like the Kamehameha, Family Son Kamehameha. Yeah. Father Son. Yeah. Father Son. And then uh, two, Mafuba. Maf Mafuba, which I love Mafuba. I mean, Mafuba would have been uh, fantastic uh, for uh, Jorge that, that this game. Is the last could have Mafuba'd one of those uh, so, cells, and then, again, you know, it helps them so much. They're yeah. getting into the game. Yeah, they're getting right into the game here. They are ready, they're mulliganing it up. Mulligan, yeah. So, so do you do you favor Ginyu after Cyborg? Or? Yeah, I, I think I still favor Ginyu. I mean, especially after Cyborg. I mean, it's one thing I, I, that's uh, it's really something to remember about uh, the uh, best of three formats is the decks that Cyborg that can Cyborg the best or have the most variety in their Cyborg are going to be a lot better than they are obviously in best of one. And I think Ginyu is just it has access to three callers. It can play all three callers. It arguably plays the three best callers in the format. And so it can uh, essentially just have options. All, you saw we have Mafuba, we had blockers. He had access to control decks, I mean, uh, answers to control decks, to aggressive decks. He just, uh, you know, has, has the ability to have answers to anything. Now, that can work against you because sometimes if you make your sideboard, uh, you know, over the place, sometimes you don't have the right answers when you need them. Uh, but uh, I think Ginyu is a little bit stronger going into the sideboard. All right, so it looks like they're going to draw up. We see Alejandro here with it looks like the entire combo in hand. Did you? What was that card closest to? Like, I I thought I saw a little something spicy, but maybe oh, not. Oh, you thought you saw something I spicy? I thought something different, but maybe I'm, I'm misremembering a, the way a card looks. It looks like he has a whole combo hand with a cell's burst. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe that's what I saw the cell. So Jorge's going to need a cold bolus, which he does have. So he's going to use Gideon's ability. Go to seven. However, does he have another yellow card to play for mana? That's right. We'll see. Because he. He's, he's playing out the Bulma here immediately. Going to get weeks. I mean, he, he, he doesn't need to keep up the yellow here, so <laughs> that's that's the thing. But um, next turn he is. Right. So right. He, yeah, he, he gets he essentially needs, one more draw step. Right. He needs to have um, a yellow energy down on the field uh, for his turn two drop. Or, and he does. He has Crusher yeah, Ball. Crusher but ball. Is he going to drop the Crusher Yeah, he will. They will. Okay, so he, he, can, has he can to. play Crusher Ball, use it for the Cold Ball. Yeah, he has So to. he has an answer once again to Alejandro's early cell combo if he decides to do it here. We'll see. I still think that's the right play from, from him. Very mm -hmm. very surprised that he's attacking Ginyu here. I mean, he's essentially giving Ginyu an extra chance to get that, that uh, Cold Ball lost. Well, yeah. All right, so he's attacking. He's going to go to six. I think Ginyu being on the play is, is huge too. Oh, oh yeah, he drew oh, another yeah. Cold Ball lost. Oh, he did. He has two Cold Ball Lost. has a Boo as well, so he can play his Boo out and start psyching through his deck a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to use the ability to go to five. Go Gotenks. Gotenks. Gotenks is pretty good in this matchup. Yeah. Talking him down to seven. So, the, the, the re, like, this, Ginyu being on the play allows him to deal with that big cell way early on, oh, yeah. earlier oh, yeah. on, yeah, like killing it, yes. killing it wise. Um, but this turn's going to be still, like, that's the thing about Cold Bloodlust is he's going to get Cold Bloodlusted, but he can still apply a lot of pressure to the Ginyu. Mm -hmm. He can push him past three if he takes his head. This is another interesting attack by Alejandro. If he's, if he's thinking about going up, um, oh, he's, oh, he's just going to go 10. Yeah. He's just going to go up and awaken. Yeah, I play in safe. I like this. I think going all in on the combo once, you know, with Ginyu being on the play is a lot more yeah. risky than doing it whenever you're on the play. Yeah. So I like this. Very smart. One of the plays you can do 
uh, Jordan was doing was you cold bloodlust the Tien and then you you either uh, tap it with the uh, yellow tap one drop. What, what was his name? Uh, yeah, Goldo. Goldo. Yeah, you tap with Goldo and kill it, or you have another card to kill it, and then they never get their cards from it. Right. Yeah. This is good though, because I think other other Hondra had to do this because he, he has to keep up with uh, Ginyu's awakening. He can't let Ginyu awaken before him and then draw so many cards off. Oh the yeah. Team, so. See a beer strong, I think. That was Luis. Doesn't have any green up yet. It's pretty big. Yeah, because how, how much is Goatees? Uh, go how many green? Is two, it's two green. Two green. Okay, yeah. so not the worst. Yeah. There's the family son. Now the family son of Kamehameha is a big deal. This is the one that, that bounces. The, uh, the card and it kills everything underneath. So whenever he goes to play his seven drop, it goes all the way up. He can just counter it or cold butt lust it, and then on his next turn, he can just bounce the seven drop back to his wow. hand, removing all the cards. What a good sideboard it. card! Yeah, very good sideboard card. Judge Scott up to the front, please. Ju Ju he drew a Gohan, but he doesn't have the energy to play it, uh, which is unfortunate, but still a very powerful card in the matchup. As that critical, I love critical, puts so much pressure on your opponent. Plus, the fact that he comes in and kills a card is not to be underestimated. See if other Hondra decides to go all the way up here. He did draw one of his five drops. It means when he has three left in the deck. I think he has three of the one, the, the three drop baby cells. Judge for root, oh, okay. Please. Yeah, so he is, uh, he's got enough of those. Judge Spots. 15,000 and 15,000. Let's see what. Or he's just going to use ball, uh, Boo to protect. I always thought it would be a, there would be a sick card that you could play and it would tap one of your opponent's manas down. Oh, or cold. energy down. Because it, it would it would give you some counteractive play to look like crusher ball, and stuff. crusher ball, and then and then they would have to leave up double yellow or something, right? Right. Where that, instead of I just agree. being all dominating with one yellow up, because because I mean even if it, even if you have to take a life put in the drop area, in situations it could be worth it. Right. I know. So definitely. Yeah. I mean, as you imagine if Alejandro could tap down that yellow and then go oh off right that'd be yeah. huge. Judge Farouk up to the front, please. Judge Farouk up to the front. I'm going to draw that Jocko off of that. See what he decides to do here, if he's going to go all the way up or not. Yeah. It seems to me that, like, the Ginyu player has, has, a, has a solid grasp on this game right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, it's going to be really tough to... I need to fix the life here. ...get through it. Yeah, we're down to four to three right now. It... I don't know, though. He does I mean, have, it's going to get cold blood uh, and then the next turn, you said it's going to get family, son, of Kamehameha? Yeah, yeah, and the, yeah, and that's that. Uh, but he does, I mean, it, it depends on what he has. I mean, he, he could draw, he might have Beerus in the deck. And if he has Beerus in the deck, he just, well, he actually couldn't be an energy short. So, yeah, actually, the only way he has to deal with it is to uh, either, you know, Mafuba. But he actually can't either because he doesn't have access to two. So the only thing he has is Kamehameha. Okay. Which he'll almost assuredly use here. Okay. It's Chompa. Chompa. <laughs> I love seeing and, that card. I don't know why I just counter. love seeing that card yeah. in, in, in this deck. All right, so stacking here for double strike. It doesn't have double strike because of the cold bolus. You're right. Same yep. strike. And here it comes. We have 10,000 to protect himself. So he's up to uh, 25 right now. Yeah. He's going to drop uh, two more cards. Yeah. Which is still huge. I oh, mean, yeah. that's. So he's, like he's going to drop uh, Bulma and Gotenks there. He's protecting himself so hard from going below, f going to three. Yeah. Huh. That's I think he knows he's dealing with his card this turn. He has to play a green this turn. He has to play a green out this turn, so yeah. he can play a green out next turn, so he can play, start playing out Gotenks if he needs to. Coming at the leader, I'm assuming. Can you after sell? Can you come in and sell? He don't take he it. He takes two. it to two. Scary. And out. then he had no idea that was coming. I'm pretty sure that the seven drop goes to hand, right? How many? How many? I'll look uh, it up. Yeah, I'll look it up. But I'm I have sure. no idea. I've never played the card. Father son, come me, huh? Oh, it's father son. Yeah. Oh, he's playing another cell. But I don't know. I would be so sad to get that crusher ball yet again because that's exactly what's happening. All right, see what's happening. Let me lift this card up. Let's 
says, uh, choose one of your opponent's battle cards with energy cost larger than the, or equal to the opponent's. Okay, yeah, so it's KO. It's a KO. It's KO, yeah. yeah. It has to do with the mana. Yeah. Or the, the energy, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it can't kill anything that's lower than the amount of energy they have. Yeah, yeah I was thinking of, I think, uh, the Gallic Gun. I think Gallic Gun's yeah, a bounce yeah, spell, yeah. yeah. So I have an attack with the uh, second form of uh, Cell with the double strike, and then he uh, defended against it, I think? Yeah, it looks like he's defending it right here. Just one card. They use a Bowman there, I think, right? Yeah. Still two to four. Still pretty, uh, pretty in Guinea's favor here. I really how, feel like. How does how does the Bowman defend against that? We, we might have missed something looking at Family Kamehameha because, um, it, it would only put him to twenty k. Isn't the attack twenty k? I think Cobo lost. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I, I looking at the card, I kind of lost what was happening. See what happens here. That's another turn. So, like, uh, like our, uh, our our floor judge is saying that uh, he did get uh, another sellout. <laughs> yeah, with yeah. All the, with all the uh, combos, which was off the top. By the way, he actually drew the stuff to get the combo. Okay. Out. So that's actually a pretty big deal. And uh, then, looks like Jorge did defend Jorge's it. Just like, okay, cool. And he's gonna find an answer to it. So like he's probably gonna use his full power energy down as inter as uh, energy here, so yeah. he can have access to his two green, which is very important. It really thinks he had to use this Gohan here because Gohan would be a perfect answer. Right, uh, I mean, this. it's kind of weird to me that, that Jorge hasn't found more kill spells. I know. Like, I, I feel like most of the time, Giddy players are just sitting on a, uh, a, ton, a, ton, a, hand, of a ton of kill right. spells. Right. And he, or uh, kill, uh, kill battle cards. And he, but yeah, has, yeah, I think he has a, uh, a Gohan. Yeah, he does have a Gohan. Okay. He does have a Gohan, so that's going to be able to take care of that. I think what he's trying to figure out here is that does he want to play out, does he want to counter, or does he want to kill spell here? Yeah. There could be an argument being played play possibly for the Gotenks now. Let's see what he chooses. We know it's going to be green. Wow. Gohan. Very, very surprising to me. To me, that's the best play you can do right now is play out Gohan and just kill Cell. He's going a different route. He says, I'm going to kill you. And if I don't, I have counter to back myself up. I mean, you're 100% I mean, right. I mean, it's the uh, next again. turn. It's the same play almost. Oh, my uh, God. Two with another bloodlust. I don't know uh, how. Uh, that's That's three? Or is that four? <laughs> but what's important though is he doesn't have a yellow open, so it's possible. Oh, okay, that's true. Yeah, it's possible that, but he does have Sensu Bean, so he can literally just attack oh, yeah, again, yeah, use yeah. Sensu Bean, and bring yeah, that yellow very, open. Yeah, that's also true. Tough. I mean, Hori is also obviously, you know, uh, a lot better at this deck than I am, so, uh, I mean, oh, if, yeah. this, if this is the play he's, ta he's, he's making, I back him up 100% on yeah, it. He's, he's, he's taking actually the life. using the life here. Another cold Okay, ball. that's the last one. So, he, so he, he cold blessed two cells, and now he has two in, in the back pocket. It's going to be real tough and for... And gets a zero-cost combo card. Yeah, like he is in such a good spot right here. 15,000. Hey, can you imagine being... Like, if, if Alejandro goes up to cell chain again and he gets called bloodlisted again, it's... it's uh, just, It might wear on his mental state. It would it would <laughs> on mine. Oh, yeah, just getting, like, back to back to back. Yeah, just yeah, back to back to back to back. Like. But, I mean, I guess, I guess at the same time, you're building cell up. I mean, again, remember, he does have the cell. Like, he has the ability to do this. What's surprising to me is it's... Uh, uh, Jorge didn't use Sensu being here. Like, he, he, did, he cannot. He, yeah, he actually can't call bloodlust if he passes the turn, which he did. He couldn't since you beat him. He got double counter. Both. Oh, this is a good counter too? Oh, yeah, dead. both okay, got countered. So he actually has a window here. Yeah, he does. Smart move by uh, Jorge here. I mean, uh, Alejandro. Alejandro just with a... But does he, I don't think he has the... Uh, well, he, he can filter with... Filter draw with the cell. This is this is a bad yes. move. Yes. So if I, oh, my gosh. If I'm Jorge here, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, uh, to use as many cards as I can here just in case cell comes out. I get as much value out of all my cards as I can. Well, what he could have done is like let the attack go through and defend it against. I don't know if that's better to have a yellow open. Judge Peru, up to the front, please. Ooh, looks like he's choosing not to sell yet. See the pro the problem I have with this is like you're you're opening yourself up if you're going to make a play. You make it before you do any of these attacks. Right, right. Because you're opening yourself up to the Sensu Bean, opening right. yellow, Cold Blood Lush, or Crusher Ball. And that's exactly what's going to happen here. Yeah. So now he has access. Last ball for Judge Baru. One second, guys. We're dealing with a little bit of something. 
too. So we've, got, we've, got, we've, got, we've got 100 viewers from uh, Ash Down to this one. All right, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, we we're some, back. Sorry about we that. We had some uh, some stuff we got to take care of behind the scenes. Uh, Apologize. Welcome to round number two. We have 30 minutes. Let's three Yeah, the, the, the biggest thing that surprises me with that uh, that series of turns, I'm sorry, we had to back out there for a second, um, was that, like you said, Chris, you brought it up, was uh, that he didn't lead with the seven drop cell. To me, you lead with it before Cole, you know, while Cole Bullust uh, isn't available. So it's just, uh, it surprises me. He, he, he couldn't, I don't think he had the cards to get up to seven drop, but I mean, he, if you're going to make... Oh, you don't think he has, he didn't have the cards? He didn't have the, he didn't have the other Android. I think he had one oh, of them. Oh, I thought he had both, okay. No, and, and it, it's, if he didn't have anything to play, that's one thing, but maybe that was it. He just didn't have anything to play, so he was just going to swing. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So I'm pretty sure Alejandro knows that, and, and I mean, he's made it this far. He's right, activating right, right. Ginyu again. Going down too light. It's like he's trying to in the game here. So we know another Gotenks is coming. He does have the go. He does have the Gohan though. He has the ability to play a Gohan if he wants to, to just eliminate this cell all, like all together. Okay, so 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 this is that goes through. It, let's say he doesn't counter it. Do you just drop your whole hand here as a player. You have I, double. I, like, I, look I can't at, see how many cards are in uh, Jorge, uh, Alejandro's hand. Uh, but I, I think with uh, I think there's a good chance I do. Yeah, I think I think I just tap all but my mana. It's, it's and very play hard for Jorge because if you do that and lose, you just you're out of the you're out of the you're tournament. Out of the tournament. So it has to be very nerve wracking deciding what to do in this situation. Because for me, every time I play a game, it's really nerve wracking to know when to <laughs> when to go all in or not. Anyway, I couldn't yeah. imagine the pressure on top of being in top four. Right. So he does have a Beerus in hand too. But I think if I'm Jorge here, slowly whittling down your opponents, you know, yeah. it, it could work. Yeah, but I mean, being at two, it's very scary. Right, it's very scary. I think if I'm right here, what I would do is I would just play the slow game. I'd play out, you know, the Gohan. I would kill the Cell. I would attack in. I'd pass the turn. I would just literally just try to keep as much, as many uh, threats off the board as I could. Because he had, you know, four life, essentially. But he's used two to be more aggressive. Um, so I think now he's putting him in himself in a situation where he might have to go all in and be super aggressive. He's at 35,000 Ginyu into uh, nothing sell yet. Looks like Alejandro's trying to decide what he wants to do. There's a Trunks. He has another Trunks in hand. He drew a right. counter, which is a big deal. Oh, that's huge. That's drew another huge. Trunks. And another Trunks. Wow. So two Trunks off the Trunks. And there it is. There it is. Defends that. Defends and then that with a counter back up and another Trunks in hand. Yeah, so, so the, the go to If, 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 Jorge, if Jorge taps out both yellow again. Ah, uh, there's my play. There's oh, my, he's doing this one. Okay. Go on play. He's just going to go ahead and take, get rid of that cell. He says, bye-bye. I'm done with you. And he leaves up the yellow. I like this play because it has critical. There's that, and then there's uh, the fact that he gets to leave up a blue for his counter, and then also the yellow for the gold ball display. She has two more of. <laughs> it's uh, this is going to be rough. Yeah, pretty devastating here. Yeah. Alejandro might be in a bad spot here. Let's see what happens. Going to draw two cards. Looks like he's going to attack in here, 15,000 to 15,000. No, he does have the Chompa. If this attack, if he said no That's counter, true, he does have a Chompa. He's going. This is for the one. I would. There's no way. Yeah, this is, this trunks, is it. Two trunks. This could be it. Can Rory defend against this? I don't think he can. Rory, Rory's probably sitting there like, okay, I'm going to take this one damage. And it's, <laughs> it's not going to be one, Rory. <laughs> he's definitely not going to have a Chompa. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I think that's it. There's he like, has a counter in hand too. He just didn't counter. Yeah, he didn't counter. Oh wow. God. He. That's it. That's that's it. That's the mat. That's it. Out of top four. Why didn't he counter, Chris? Because you counter the you counter the threat, and if he plays something off double you, strike, it does Well, it's it's not that though, because like even if he counters there, he attacks with uh, Tien. Tien's on the field, right? Tien's on the field. Tien attacks. He does the same exact thing with Tien. It's only five thousand yeah, less. You're right. He still you're right. overwhelms I guess, him. I guess it and that is the that is the that makes me see. I thought the double cold bloodlust there was just no way. Like anything's right, get through right, it. Right. But those are extra cards that don't have any combo power. Right. right. And then th we've seen this over and over again with the cell deck. We've seen it over and over again with the cell deck that if you let an attack through, it's over. They just so, they just they just, they just go in as hard as possible and they and, and they always just take over. It's 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 insane. Yeah. Every attack, I every attack. I, I think we you. saw a couple weaknesses with the uh with Tricolor Guinea that game. Yeah. We saw we, that, that matchup. We saw um the struggle with energy. He had a lot, a lot of yeah, trouble getting getting, getting yeah. the right green out when you know, slowed him able, down. Yeah, it slowed him down a lot. Uh, and then also, like you said, the uh, combo weakness to the deck as well. So. Yeah. 
Uh, very cool. That's cool to see that. It's cool to see that the, the uh, cell deck trying to take advantage of that and, and really pressure that uh, mm -hmm. that weak aspect. It's pretty insane. Again, guys, wow. at Kitchtail Meta in the chat, ask some questions, and we'll uh, answer as many as we can before we go into the we'll last round. Team, yeah, last round, the championship, and and Team Florida. One, one person's in. Yeah, one person. I'm gonna see if the uh, if the um, if the uh, bracket has been updated. Yeah, let's see if the bracket's been updated. That'd be nice. Let's see if we know who our top two competitors are gonna be. Not yet. Yeah, it looks like they haven't been upgraded yet. Haven't been upgraded. They must still be playing. But we do know that we have one one PPG player already in. Yeah. Unbelievable. With this cell deck. Congratulations. Man. Congratulations, guys. Those, that, that game just blew me away. Like, oh, definitely. Like, the fact that he... The attack comes in, and you're thinking, I'm good. Yeah, I'm fine. I got, I got all these extra cards. It's no big Crusher balls. I'm good. And then they just... But, like, I mean, but again, like we talked about, like I said during that game a couple turns yeah, earlier, you know, I said, you know, him taking this life is very scary to me. He doesn't, he's, he's worked so hard to protect that for that for life, and then literally just threw it away in the next two turns for, you know, for just going to be an aggressive. If he would have two more life right there, he would survive that attack, and I think he still would have won. Like, he, he didn't add anything, I don't think, by trying to be super aggressive with Ginyu there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like he, he yeah, essentially possibly. threw it too late. Yeah, that, that may be true. I mean, yeah, he has two more life to play with. His double strike threats are still in his hand and Gotenks. Right. He could just play Gotenks. Maybe that, maybe that's the line I mean, to play. Guinea was not a, um, a super aggressive deck and wants to grind your opponent out. And yeah. Maybe he was worried about time. Maybe he was trying to be more aggressive so he'd have yeah. time. Uh, you know, these top these top matches are time. Now the top uh, the finals will not be time. It won't be time at yeah, all. They're, they're, they're not um, time at all. Guys, we, we are looking at the bracket right now. There is no update so far. Yeah, no updates yet. To on the other match. So we'll, we'll let you know as soon as we were excited to find out too. See what happened. Uh, are your feelings about best of three the same after seeing all these matches this weekend, or have you changed your mind? Uh, no, I still think best of one is the best format. Uh, we've talked a lot about it on my channel. We've talked a lot about it in the groups and stuff. Uh, in my opinion, best of one is by far the best uh, format because the game is so consistent. You know, Chris, you're drawing so many cards. Uh, you know, as you see, not very many of these games go to 1-1. One, one. Most of them, you know, have been 2-0, 2-0, 2, -0, 2, -0, 2 -0. It's just, you know, when a, a deck has a good advantage, it's hard to overcome that with just, like, luck or anything like that. I mean, it's it's... These matches you're watching have a higher time limit. Um, yeah, it, there were a yeah. lot of draws, yes, like a, a lot of draws for the top the top 16 people. A lot of like I think everyone had a draw. I don't think there, yeah. there was not a competitor that didn't have a draw. No, it, it, even our even our undefeated player had a draw. So he was 701, yeah. like our first seed. So like yeah, no one didn't have a draw. Who is playing in the other match? We have uh, who is it? We David could. Rodriguez and Rob uh, Caparino. Yeah, they're we, they're they're in the uh, they're doing it in the top four. Yeah, we can uh, we can pop it up here. There you go. So that, that's bracket. the bracket. We know that uh, it was Alejandro that moved on to the finals. Yeah. So one one out of two PPG. In one out of two. We we got to see what happens with uh, we had, we left David. He was following us for so long. I know. <laughs> and now we had to leave him behind. Maybe we, we, maybe we were maybe we we're the good luck charms. Maybe Chris. we're the good luck charms for the the, Flor yeah. the, the Florida team. Yeah. Maybe the pro play game guys should be giving us a little. A maybe, little yeah. Maybe. Like yeah. Maybe we're the good luck charms. We're opening we'll guys. We come up. down there to Orlando if we're not there. <laughs> who knows what happens? Who knows what happens? Maybe you guys just get wrecked. Other PPG player David Top Ten. Uh, Twenty-five. This it, side mat is crazy. Yeah, guys, the side event mat is so cool. Yeah, it's actually it, the ones we're playing on. I actually switch over to the yeah, the, uh, the ones you can see here. They're the same mat. We just turn the one over. They both flip. So they're going to be able to flip, and yeah, you're going to so see both sides right. of that. Yep. Definitely. All right. So Sounds I think good. what we need to do is take a little bit of a break. Take we didn't have a break. break in between. Yep. Make sure you get some water. We want to get hyped for this last match. Yeah, it's the we finals, will, guys. We will bring to you when we know who wins. We might just type it in chat. Might bring the stream back up. We're going a little bit of a break here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Get ready for the finals. First ever Dragon Ball Super at Hartford, Connecticut. Regionals <laughs> at Hartford, Connecticut. <laughs> yeah, it's, important, it's important to put that in. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, presented by ARG. By ARG. Okay, guys. See you next time. Yeah, we'll see here in a, well, yeah. We don't know how long they're going to play for, and we don't know how long it's going to set up. I don't know if they're going to take pictures or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll put a little timer up. We'll try to keep you updated. Maybe we'll write a little in chat, like I said, and tell you who's in the finals and keep you updated. All right. So I guess. See you guys. with us.